Hello and welcome to the channel. In the last video we talked about the Acanthorchis genus and the mud sunfish. The next genus in the sunfish family is the crappy genus Pomoxis. The common name crappy comes from the Canadian French word crappé, which was originally used to describe several species in the sunfish family. The generic name Pomoxis is kind of misleading. It means sharp cover and it refers to the gill cover which isn't really sharp, but the edge is extremely thin and rigid like a blade. There are of course two species in the crappy genus, the black crappy and the white crappy. First we have the black crappy. The species name of the black crappy is Latin and it means black spotted or black stained. As you might have guessed, the black crappy has black spots that contrast with the silver gray coloration of the body, giving it a mottled appearance. In black water that's stained with tannins, this silver gray coloration is often more of a yellow gold color. The black crappy, like all centrarchids, is a freshwater species native only to North America. They have a laterally compressed body shape and the anal fin has multiple spines. The dorsal fins are fused or broadly connected and the males also construct and guard a nest. And the characteristics that distinguish black crappy from other sunfish We've already mentioned the unique gill cover. The edge is thin and rigid like a blade. Crappies also have a paper thin membrane around the mouth. This is how they earned the nickname paper mouth. Black crappie have black spots that contrast with the silver gray coloration of the body giving it a mottled appearance. In black water the body is more of a yellow gold color. The dorsal fin on a black crappie starts closer to the head compared to the white crappie. The anal fin has 5 to 8 spines with 14 to 15 rays. The spiny dorsal has 7 to 8 spines. White crappie have 5 to 6 spines. And the soft dorsal has 14 to 16 rays. Next we have the white crappie. The species name for the white crappie is Latin and it means ringed. This name refers to the dark markings along the body that resemble vertical bars and because they're on both sides of the fish they do kind of resemble rings. The white crappie, like all centrarchids, is a freshwater species native only to North America. They have a laterally compressed body shape and the anal fin has multiple spines. The dorsal fins are fused or broadly connected and the males also construct and guard a nest. And what are some of the characteristics that distinguish the white crappie from other sunfish? We've already mentioned the unique gill cover. The edge is thin and rigid, almost like a blade. Crappies also have a paper thin membrane around the mouth. This is how they earned the nickname paper mouth. White crappie have dark vertical markings that resemble bars on the side of the body. The dorsal fin on a white crappie starts farther back compared to the black crappie. The anal fin has six spines with 16 to 18 rays. The spiny dorsal has five to six spines. Black crappie have seven to eight spines. And the soft dorsal has 14 rays. Most anglers are very familiar with crappie. Both species have relatively large mouths, so they do feed on other fish. But generally speaking, adult black crappie feed on fewer fish than white crappie. Black crappie tend to feed more on insects and crustaceans, but this can obviously change a lot depending on the water body, habitat and food available, and competition from other species. Average size for both species is probably 9 to 10 inches, and they max out around 18 inches. The IGFA All Tackle World Record White Crappie weighed 5 pounds 3 ounces, and the Black Crappie record is 5 pounds 7 ounces. The white crappie and the black crappie are both native to the Mississippi and Mobile basins, but the native range of the black crappie includes the Apalachicola Basin, Florida, and the Atlantic Slope north to Virginia, 